Hello Linux fans, so last night I posted a video checking out the new Firefox 54 and I did a comparison against Chromium and uh, Opera Browser. It basically went through KSIS Guard and looked at memory usage, did a little experiment in using my second hand on the clock up here and launching a web page um, you know, that had not been pre-cached and had everything kind of turned off, just kind of default settings. And it was interesting that Firefox didn't fare so well. Now, I said in the first video, um, I am not a scientist, nor am I an engineer, so it was just kind of having fun to see what was what. Well, that video generated lots of remarks, um, most of them, you know, very positive. And I wasn't trying to disparage Firefox or Firefox users by no stretch. I just kind of was checking it out. But we had several people who said, hey, I'm, I'm using Brave. Check out Brave. So I've got Brave loaded up this time around. And we had a few just straight up Chrome users and Chrome fans. So I've got Chrome loaded up here. So we've got version 59 of Google Chrome, still with 54 of Firefox. And then for Brave, and this is the first time I've used Brave, we're at 0.17.3. So... What I did here, there was also the suggestion to load up multiple tabs. So in each of the browsers, we have DuckDuckGo, OMG Ubuntu, DistroWatch, and then one blank tab. So we've got four of the same or as similar as possible tabs open within each of the browsers. Just wanted to point all of that out, trying to keep everything as even. I mean, I don't really have a uh, dog in the race here. It's not... Um, it's really more for my interest just in you know the process of going through and checking out what's what and I thought it would be fun with Chrome because I've used Chrome quite a lot in the past. Uh, Brave I have interest in because it's new and I really like what I'm seeing so far. Uh, Firefox is something I just haven't used that much. Uh, it just kind of felt long in the tooth for me and uh, but I know with many of you out there watching this you're huge fans of Firefox and so I hope for the best there in their continued development. Now, the other thing that popped up was, hey, KSIS Guard. There must be something wrong with KSIS Guard. And there was a recommendation for HTOP. So I've got HTOP here. So we'll pull that up and take a look at what the settings are there. Let's zoom in. I'm going to go ahead and sort this by command. So first up, with four tabs running Google Chrome at 162 we'll scroll down here let's get to Brave alright there's Brave 255 and next up is Firefox at 299 that's with four tabs open no ad blocking or anything like that turned on pretty much default I will say by default ad blocking was turned on within Brave so I turned that off just trying to make everything match up so that's what we see within HTOP so the clear winner there as far as memory usage is concerned is Google Chrome that actually surprised me I expected Brave from what I would heard about Brave I expected Brave to win that out alright now the other thing I want to do is pop over to uh, Casis and we'll kind of do the same thing here. We'll just take a quick look at what's what uh, within Casis. So if we look at Brave, we're at 181. If we go to Chrome, we're at 64. And with Firefox, we're at 172. So again, while the results are different within Casis, um, the order with which each browser is using less memory is the same. Chrome is the clear winner followed by Brave. Actually, let me back up here. No, Firefox comes in second here with Brave being third. So we do have different results. Glad I caught that. Well, you guys would have called me on it for sure had I, had I not caught that. So anyway, Kind of interesting, so you know maybe KSIS Guard is not that accurate. Now this makes me want to look at something else, maybe a third program for checking memory, just to kind of see how things fare there. Anyway, kind of interesting. Um, what it all means, who knows? Uh, does it mean you should switch from one browser to another? No. If you like the browser you're using and it does the trick for you, keep using it. 
Do we have lots of options within Linux? Absolutely. I really like the look of Brave and I'm going to really spend more time with this and explore uh, what it offers in a browser. It looks clean and I just kind of like the interface. We'll see how it goes with Brave and uh, maybe it will warrant its own review. All right, well, that's it for now. Uh, maybe this helps. Maybe this doesn't help. Maybe it just confuses the issue even more. But it is what it is, and I kind of don't want to recap that after all of the good remarks in the first video. As always, thanks for watching.